Introducing Next Gen 50, the new home school up. Well, where does this come from? Covering everything the school game has to offer in both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Oh, Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What's a kick? All your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 15. Well, a very good evening and welcome to Six Ways Stadium here in Worcester. It is not the Warriors playing tonight, but instead the annual Modus Cup, the 14th edition, and it is going to be an absolute corker. Full winter rugby mode is activated here, and we are ready for the wintering. Two teams and 4,000 fans, perhaps the biggest school rugby game ever in England, and it is the King's School Worcester taking on Royal Grammar School Worcester in the 2021 edition. We obviously missed 2020 due to COVID-19, but tonight is a grudge match of sorts and we can't wait until kickoff. Both teams just getting underway on that far touchline, the stadium you can see in your picture. It is the King's School fans on the near touchline underneath where we are situated here at Six Ways is RGS Worcester's home support both teams really the home sides tonight and we uh, will take a look through the first team on our sheet and that is Kings Worcester Joe Clive Jack Lyman and Ben Williams in the front row George Boyle and Will Chater in the second row Laurie Checkley Sam Hawes Ben Withnall going to pack down for the forwards halfback then Alex Terry the captain partnered with Josh Richardson at 10, Ben Amos and Seb Lucas on the wings with Charles Pillman at fullback with George Tomlinson and Luke Beaver in the centres. Well, RGS then, Max Collins, Loic Kesey and Patrick Emony in the front row. The uh, year 11 man, Dan Hulkin, in the second row with Oscar Sylvie, Joe Whitebread, Jack Kane and Will Godwin complete the pack. And it's James Granger with Harry Hollingworth at halfback. Tom Wilde, William Rimmel and Dan Hadley in the back three with Ben Galbert, the captain, with Robbie May, the ex-Worcester Academy man, in the centres. Keep an eye out for those two giants in the centre. Those, the two lineups then. Both teams just trying to keep warm ahead of kickoff in a few minutes time. And I'm delighted to say we've got a couple of special stars in the commentary box with me tonight. And well, we've got a couple of uh, RGS Worcester boys with us here and we have uh, Harry Ramsey. Harry, thanks very much for joining us in the commentary box. No worries. Your boys going in the uh, lovely green strip. What do you think their chances are of getting the win here this evening? Um, I'll say we have a pretty positive season so far. So um, I think we've got all the chances. It just depends who turns up on the night, in my opinion. But yeah, I think we're ready. And um, yeah, I think we're just ready for the occasion, really. You guys, you uh, had a very good win against Solihull School recently coming into this. Uh, on a bit of a run. How much do you think that plays into your hands here at Six Ways? Yeah, prior to the Solihull game, we did lose a few games on the bounce. And so I think winning that Solihull game is just like really bringing the confidence back up in the team. And um, yeah, I think everyone's just yeah ready for the game, ready to get going. Everyone's excited. So we obviously didn't have this fixture two years ago, but uh, uh, sorry, last year, two years ago, RGS won it. Uh, sorry, the Kings won it after two years of RGS winning back to back. How much do you think it will mean to the boys and everybody at the school to, to try and take the trophy home again obviously, tonight? Obviously, yeah, obviously it means everything. Um, we've got some new coaching staff in, so hopefully, you know, that'll make all the difference tonight. And 
it's a real test really tonight and we'll see what happens and how well do you know the players from Kings because obviously it's a bit of a rivalry between you guys um, uh, I'm quite familiar with a few players from Kings uh, I played club rugby with them and then um, up at Worcester so yeah I know a few of the boys and yeah I'm sure they're ready as well and anybody in their lineup that you think we should uh, keep an eye out for this evening? Um, Sam Walls, Laurie Shetley, they're good in the back row. And uh, yeah, obviously Alex Terry, the captain, he's going to be good. And uh, yeah. And what does it what does it sort of say about the uh, the standard of the, the rugby between these two sides and how much it means with the fact that there was almost 4,000 tickets sold ahead of kickoff here and possibly the biggest school, a biggest spectator game in school rugby in England ever tonight, potentially. Yeah, obviously, you know, there's a big turnout from uh, both sets of fans, really. So um, it just, yeah, it just really does, it just really does show, you know, the quality of rugby. And uh, yeah, it'll be good to see. It'll be good to see two teams going at it. Well, the final few preparations are underway. The teams look ready and raring to go. We're waiting for the final few fans to trickle into the stadium here at Six Ways. But uh, let's just take a look at our broadcast partner from this evening's coverage, Coach Logic. Well, as you can see, just uh, a few of the extensive replacements from Kings helping their teammates and the starters go through their final preparations. This has uh, been quite a, a lengthy warm-up now, and we are a bit delayed for kickoff. I'm not quite sure why. We've got uh, plenty of fans trickling in and a few last-minute warm-up drills. It's uh, not cold tonight but it is cooling down. You can sense that winter is coming here in Worcester. We're at about eight degrees at the moment. So it's uh, not cold. With this uh, fantastic uh, 4G pitch here at Six Ways, we're hoping to see plenty of running rugby. It's a fast track indeed and We've certainly seen that on many occasions in the Premiership of late and particularly this season. Well, we are just hearing that the, uh, the kickoff is delayed until 7.15, so I think we will leave it for the time being and pick the stream back up when we get things underway. So please bear with us until kickoff. Uh, we've got around about eight or nine minutes until we will be back live here at Six Ways for the 2021 Modus Cup. Introducing Next Gen 15, the new home. School up. Well, where does this come from? Covering everything the school game has to offer in both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Oh, a great tackle! Oh, it's not good enough! One, two, skip a few and with the wheels! Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What a kick! Oh, really come from an Adelaide! All your school rugby all in one place. This is Next Gen 50.
here they come. RGS Worcester being led out by their captain, Ben Galbert. Huge cheers from both fans as the King's School now make their way onto the pitch here at Six Ways. It means a lot to both teams. Well, uh, a minute's applause there for the uh, King's School former master of rugby, Mark Roberts. And now the final huddles for both teams. Jack Kane in the middle for RGS. Very, very passionate. I'm sure we'll uh, hear a little bit more about that in a few moments' time. Well, a lot of head banging. The Kings being made to wait. RGS in the green will play from right to left in the white strips. Kings with the kickoff, and the ball falls to George Tomlinson. The Worcester Warrior on home turf with the huge boot to get things underway. 35 minutes each way, 70 minutes for these two teams to stack their claim on the Motors Cup. The tackle on the way! Guys outside, what's the step? And already we're seeing the penalty for holding on and the Kings well is he going to send this one into the corner George Tomlinson opting for the post first blood then to Kings and uh, Harry not the uh, best start for RGS in their own 22 um, no obviously not what we really want but um, I think you know I, if this kick goes over we've got to get our heads up and you know don't let that slip there's a, there's a lot of passion ahead of kickoff in this sort of, I'm not even sure what you'd call that, a power circle, bit of a huddle. Yeah, it's, um, it's actually a South African prayer that they've uh, been practicing and they, we do it every year, so yeah. Amazing. You can just see the, uh, the sort of strength and bond between the players on both, uh, both teams ahead of kickoff. Tomlinson off the tee dissects the uprights and King's School Worcester make it 3-0 well this was the uh, infringement it was uh, Patrick Emony at the breakdown and it was great play over the ball from Charles Pillman and Laurie Checkley for King's 
back underway. And that clearance kept straight into touch. And uh, RGS will have a line out just inside the King's half. First chance to see uh, what Loic Kesey, the Worcester Academy man, has got in his locker. But just uh, down in front of us, he was doing a lot in the warm up, and I think out uh, of about 20 throws, he got 19 to its mark. So straight off the top then. And ben Galbert, the captain, having to take that in. Strong shoulder coming in once again from Checkley of Kings. And off the left boot. Well, what about that then? Kesey, the hooker, putting boot to ball. And Pillman under some pressure. The clearance kick finding its way to touch and RGS can keep the pressure on. But what about that then from your hooker? Yeah, he tends to do that a lot. He, you know, you never really expect it from a hooker, but I think that's why that's why he's so good. He's just, you know, he can do it all really. It's a good throw in, and a bit of a loose ball from Granger, but uh, well collected. Again, the backs just having to do a bit of clean-up work as. Uh, Granger looks for a man with the slow ball and it falls to Halcombe. Big tall figure in the number four for RGS. And Kings with a bit of a hot defensive line, just putting the pressure on and Granger getting wrapped up here. And that is uh, 20 metres or so lost from RGS. A lot of pressure from Kings in defence and they're still going here this time with Clive in the tackle, 1v1 as Collins goes to ground. Use it. Touched! Granger gets the ball out to Hollingworth and uh, it's going back into the RGS half. Wild with the skip, can he get away? Well held in the tackle by his opposite number, Ben Amos. Such strong defensive work, and it's a little snipe around the outside from Dan Hadley. Kings caught napping on the blind side. Granger out to Hollingworth, and again that hot press from Kings making it difficult. The referee, though, well, he played advantage. And they're going to come back for the penalty. Tough for RGS. Going 50 metres back somewhat, Harry. Yeah, obviously, um, Kings are being physical, really. Uh, it's a great run the blind side there from Dan Adley, uh, gaining us some metres there. Uh, good, quick thinking from him. A good uh, clearance as well into touch. And it helps playing on this right, side of the field the as well okay. with uh, all the RGS supporters cheering them on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's packed over this side and uh, making a lot of noise. I'm sure that's uh, really egging the boys on, you know, line-outs just there. Well, it doesn't quite find its mark, but it's fallen to Emini at the back and he puts a bit of grunt into play. Kings really not being complacent at the breakdown. They can advantage. sense a snaffle and it's knocked on by RGS, picked up by Kings. And box kick from Alex Terry, the captain. Wild just losing grip of the ball in his own 22. And Kings get a chance to have the first scrum of the game inside the opposition's 22 and guys, Wild up. here just having to close look up. above his head as guys, he went to collect up. that. Okay, remember what I said before the game. In all fairness, it was a, a great chase from Ben Amos. Okay, crouch! First chance Five. then to see what both teams have got Set. in the scrum. Save on the ball. 
Yeah, a bit of twisting and turning. And we will have a reset. Let's keep it nice and straight, boys. Okay. Right, second Push. crack of the whip then. Five. Alex Terry, the captain Set. for Kings Four, at scrum eight, half eight, with the put in. Gets that away this time and out the ball goes, just slipping through the hands and we might have a bit of a breakaway here. Here go, RGS, it's Rimmel on the break, Rimmel hacking it forward, it might fall to him here, Rimmel just fumbles over the line. Well, we don't have a TMO here. But the referee clearly saw that one. That's what I thought as well. Less than two metres from the line. Will Rimmel, he did all the, all the hard work. It was well yeah, read, it was a sloppy pass by Kings and he did well, great footballing skills. Okay. 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 He just couldn't quite collect the ball over the line. Okay, Could have been something very Five. special for RGS, but Harry just, just couldn't off. quite get there just in the balance. final meter. No, it's unlucky okay. from uh, Wall there, but you know, I'm sure he's uh, I'm sure he's gutted that he hasn't scored there. You know, it uh, would be a dream for anyone to score in front of all these fans, really. Okay, um, but yeah, he just needs to you know keep his head in the game now, not let that get to him. Set. Well, it was something out of nothing, really, wasn't it? And they did exceptionally well, and just like that, they've gone from a scrum defending Guys, it, it on their own to 22 to okay. let's keep it straight on the opposition's okay. five meter line so big scrum from both sides Thank here in the opening 10 minutes king's leading from that okay. early penalty from george tomlinson Fight. set Well, straight from the back, well, what's going on there? Charge down, and that is a try for RGS. Even our cameraman didn't quite see that one. It was a huge scrum from the RGS front row. They really put the pressure on. We'll have a little look at this one again. Terry getting yeah, the ball out the to up, please, yeah. no, I couldn't hear you at all, sir. Tomlinson and as you can probably as you can probably tell. Well, who's gonna come up with that one? Because here is a scrum half, James Granger sniping around the fringes as all good scrum halves do. And he gets the conversion. RGS with the first try of the game. They lead seven points to three. Well, we didn't expect that, did we, Harry? No, um, but yeah, that's just how quickly, you know, things can change in the rugby game, really. Uh, it's just quick thinking, you know, the awareness from uh, James there to, uh, you know, just quick, just react in time to uh, see the ball on the floor and just dive on it. Well, it was a very positive start from Kings. But it is RGS Worcester that lead. Still plenty of the half to go, but it's uh, very energetic to say the least. Granger with that bit of a wayward box kick that finds its way into the supporting touch King's the school fans on the far touch line. Well, another chance for Loic Kisi at the line out Come. then. Even more challenging when you're having the line out ball in front of the opposition fans, but huge hit there from Sam Hawes. Turn and this uh, King's back row, Harry, really causing some mischief at the breakdown. Yeah, as I said at the start, you know, they're the place to look out for Sam Hawes and Laurie Checkley, and uh, yeah, they're really showing that so far in this game. They don't no. seem to mind no, stealing it. the ball at the breakdown, do they? No, they're quick over that ball, that back row, and uh, yeah, we just got to watch out for that, really. 
on side, boys. Carry from Whitmore. Oh, hands away. Change of direction from Terry and finds another forward. No, hands off. As he Come smashes off. into contact. Offside, advantage, offside. Clive this time. And the Kings with the advantage. Seven. Offside from Jack Kane for RGS Worcester. And uh, Terry just having a word with George Tomlinson. And he doesn't fancy the post this time. They're going to go for the jugular. And they'll have the line out 10 metres out. Look at that for a hit from uh, Sam Horse. Guys, he's front. It was a good tackle from Robbie May for RGS. But uh, in the scrum hat there, with the tackle on Clive, Jack Kane offside. Well, it's off the top, and Jack Kane making up for his uh, error earlier on. Kesey with the box this time, straight down the throat of Amos, and. Uh, here are Kings in broken play. Seb Lucas trying to break free. Ball was out. Is that high? Bit of a up front collision there. Max Collins just almost leading with his head in the contact. And here is Kiesick. No, hands away. Very right. confrontational, isn't it? Difficult to stop. Bit of a loose ball which has gone forward and Kings will have the scrum on this near touchline. And just a few uh, few errors from both sides already in this half, Harry, and coughing up possession easily in the end. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Has to be said though, you know, in front of a big crowd, they're not used to playing in these uh, sort of conditions uh, with all these fans there, you know, the pressure can get to you a bit. So uh, I think a few mistakes are to be expected really. Set. The intent to play from both teams has been uh, exceptional so far. Both sides really wanting to get the ball and, and ship it wide. And here come Kings yeah, doing just that. Pillman, Pillman carving back inside. Well stopped by Hadley. Terry doesn't really have an option down the Top blind side, so has to take it in on his own. Gets some support from that dogged Kings back row. RGS just trying to be patient in defence and advantage. Penalty advantage, Kings offside. have got the penalty advantage and can they break free here? It's Chater, Will Chater, the Worcester Warriors Academy man, breaking through. They had the penalty advantage. His long right arm stretching over the try line, and Kings get back in front. Yeah, it was just, yeah, again, quick thinking from uh, Chater there. You know, he's a big lad. Um, yeah, just the awareness, really. There was a, a bit of a gap in the defence, and, yeah, he's he's done well, and he's taken it, and obviously, yeah, he's right. a big lad, so he's uh, he's able to stretch out for that uh, for that try. Yep. A serious score that was, wasn't it? A lot guys, of power and much, so. strength to get through that gap. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that means a lot to him, you know. Uh, heads, heads could have dropped after the, um, after, the un, uh, after the unfortunate charge down, but, you know, I think the... They've come back strong here, and uh, RGS have got to, uh, got to knock their, their heads drop here as well. well it was a great uh, set-piece play from the backs off the scrum, from right to left in an instant, and Tomlinson will look to try and extend this lead. And that is a superb nudge off the tee from George Tomlinson. He seemed to like that one, didn't he? Well, what do you think the message will be from the RGS coaches on the touchline here? Send it long or try and get the ball back as soon as possible? Um, I believe that we're good in hand, so I, I'm, 
I'm thinking that uh, Rob Lewis, our coach, is uh, saying them to kick it short and uh, get that ball back as soon as possible, really. Yeah, as we mentioned before, both teams seem to be quite comfortable trying to play it from deep and early as possible, really. Which has made it so far in the opening 17 minutes a cracking game. Yeah, I think this is what you really want out of the game, you know. Two teams of a similar level just going at it. And uh, as you can see by the scoreline, you know, no. they've that, shown that so far. Hold in front. Right, boys, leave Terry it. with the box and uh, Loic Kesey trying to get under that one, but it's been picked up by Hadley. And Hadley storming down the left wing. Great cover tackle by Laurie Checkley as uh, Hadley tried to cut back inside. And the Kings have pounced on the isolated ball and come away with it in their own half. Onside, boys. Hold in front. Well, it's going to come back down the throat of Dan Hadley here. And, well, dummies the kick and he's still going. Lovely footwork from the RGS fullback. No, hands off White. Another back row battle. I think it was Godwin taking it in then. You, back. Picks up. Back you go. Well, and that's the try scorer, Will yeah, Chater. Him him, okay? Getting penalised for a dump tackle. And another chance for RGS to send the ball downfield. That was some break from uh, Dan Hadley, though, wasn't it? Yeah. That's definitely what he's known for. You know, his speed and his stepping, and uh, he's shown it there, really. Um, yeah. Is. It's a great run from him. Just again, good awareness, just knowing being in the right place, right time as well, and uh, yeah, picking up that ball and gaining some some meters. And that's what's been uh, so good to see in this game so far. Both teams just uh, gunslinging, firing at all nice, cylinders. No, hands away. This time, Granger having to take it in. Kesey stepping Careful, up boys. at scrum half and. No, it's in, it's still in. Change of direction in key seat. Might have a bit of space out here. Looks for the uh, Sonny Bill offload. He's a Boys. bit of a maverick, isn't he, your hooker? Yeah, as I said earlier, you know, you never know what he's going to do. Because uh, he's, uh, he's just so versatile. And, uh, yeah. RGS still trying to punch some holes and find a gap. Well, here they go. Whitbread just uh, slipping on an outside shoulder yeah, down this 15 there. meter channel. Boys, take a step. Godwin bouncing into contact. And we're going to come back for eight. the offside. Number five, but number eight. And RGS get a well deserved penalty out of that. a good opportunity to thank our broadcast partners for this evening coach logic check them out for their intuitive coaching platform i'm sure we'll be seeing plenty of analysis after this game Ball! off the top as they Ollie, set up this side, driving yeah? mall 10 what? metres out, RGS don't trying in, to keep the momentum. And or pull down. Well, penalty coming, it was pulled Number down three. by Kings. Collapse. There was no way they would have taken that to ground. It was still moving. And Granger. Right, take the five. With a perfectly placed Guys, nine punt middle. into touch. And another line out Thanks, here buddy. for RGS. How much do your forwards uh, rate their driving more then, Harry? Um, well, as you can see there, they're confident. They're quite a few metres out, and uh, yeah, they've gone. Uh, they've gone for the driving more there. Uh, but here, Sam Walsh is breaking away. Just didn't quite find its mark. Yeah. Um, well, obviously, yeah, we work a lot on scrums yeah, and uh, driving malls with our coach Lucky Latui. He's our forwards coach. We used to play for the Warriors, you know. 
Um, so he knows what he's doing. So I, I think you know that knowledge that he's transferred to the boys is is really Straight helping in terms of that. Let go of the ball. Oh, neither team really being able to collect that one then. A chance okay, to see another strong scrum. Both teams with plenty of muscle. Granger with the put in. Right, both front rows. Well, right, we'll get a bit of a telling off this time here. I have to stop. Work to keep it straight, okay? I'll start penalising. Okay? A few smiles from the uh, front row club there, being told to keep it straight. Keep an eye on whether anyone steps out, that's all. Right, Been a few crouch. times now in this game where we've just got a bit of a twisted right. scrum. Set. Penalty to Kings. Stepping out. Well, I think it was uh, Max Collins for RGS Worcester on this near side, penalised. Stepping out. George Tomlinson sending that into touch. Thank you, Ollie. Well, it can be a bit of a myth as to what happens at scrum time. Max Collins just uh, stepping out of line. Next on this Next near scrum. side. Let's go. Well, RGS almost getting a hand to that, but it is Kings. Hold it, guys. Hold it. With the ball and through the middle, then. Right. Well, yeah, penalty, and it's a card coming. Okay. And unfortunately for RGS, that is a yellow card for a high tackle. Wait. We'll take a look at this again. Zero tolerance. You should know, but how should you? And that is Joe Whitbread with just uh, a high swinging arm, really, yeah, wasn't it, Harry? Yeah, I think I don't think there's any like malicious yeah. intent in it. He's not trying to hurt him. Uh, he's not trying to, you know, put his shoulder into his head, you know, injure him. But it, it's just one of those things that can happen, and uh, you know. If his shoulder did go into his head, it could it could be game over. So you know you've got to be careful. And RGS will have to try and battle with uh, 14 men for the next seven minutes or so. Good chance for Kings to try Whoa. and use their power. And here goes Jack Lyman. Look at that for a carry. Leading try scorer for Kings this season. Tomlinson with the shuffle back inside. Terry, the captain, feeding Williams. And you can just start to hear the uh, Kings faithful bubbling on that far touch line, but uh, it is a penalty to RGS to kill that momentum. Bus come round the gate. James Granger nudging that one in to touch. Take a look at this again. It was uh, Kings okay. penalised for coming in at the side. Is that number one on this near side, Joe Clive? Come in. Lovely take off the top from Oscar Silvi. Here Tackle we go. Side. RGS through the middle. Halcombe going on his own. No, wrong right. Sorry, right. And Hollingworth with the chip into the backfield, into Outside a bit of space. Wide. And that is still yeah. in play and Granger in broken field just shuffling but it was a, a good tackle in the end from Seb Lucas just get a feeling that extra man would come in handy right now Harry 
Uh, yeah, definitely. But our just got to adapt here. They've got to, um, you know, obviously there's nothing they can do about it until the end of the half. So they just got to see this half out. And um, yeah. Kings with another bit of hot defence and uh, they've managed to come away with the loose ball here. Clive okay. charging You've forward. On there. We'll come back for the original knock on. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's going to be Kings well. with the scrum and Alex Terry will Sorry, have the put in. I think we're just going to have a bit of a time off for a, a water break and a bit of cramp from some of the boys. And a very big thank, thank you, you to our scoreboard sponsor this evening, what William Wood Watches. Yeah. Real British firefighting history beating through every component. Take a look at their website for more information. Okay. Um, if you're intrigued by very, very customised high-end watches. Some lovely banners in the crowd. Fifteen odds full back in your arms. I think I won't read out some of the others, but I think I just saw one that said and huh? uh, number nine, your Terry Ific, which I think is aimed at Alex Terry. Nice bit of wordplay. I'm assuming that's his mum and dad, you never know. We'll guess. This uh, break then, Harry, certainly coming in handy bit of a chance to just reset and try and uh, find a way to control the game and deal with that very very hot defense from Kings yeah it's a good chance for the coach to get in there you know tell the boys uh, what he's thought of the half so far and um, Ollie? yeah anything I'm missing or is it all okay yeah Well, who is that down on the infield with that, with cramp then for RGS? Just getting a bit of a stretch and a bit of a magic sponge. We're about ten minutes to go until half time. Sorry. Thank you. Mark over there, James. On the top. Clivey, you're my number one. That was a good one for Joe Clive for the Kings School Worcester. I need you to keep straight and not step out, OK? Keep straight all the way through. Okay? Nobody's ever made a, a banner like that for me here in the commentary box. I don't know about you, Harry, but maybe next year when you've not got your knee all, uh, you know, braced up, you can get your own. Yeah, hopefully. OK, crouch. Bind. Well, six ways playing host to another Modus Cup. And uh, the record, well, Kings have won eight. RGS have won five. And here goes Terry with a little hat forward. And it's not quite gone the direction he would have wanted, but it might still be on for him. He's still going. And what a solo score from Alex Terry. He really is terry -ific. Sensational. Well, how about that from Alex Terry? He gets the light show and all. Well, let's take a look at this again. 60 odd meters in the end. His chip forward didn't quite come off the boot, but on these uh, lovely flat 4G surfaces, the ball loves to bobble. And Terry did some damage with the gas. No, 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 no. My ARs are watching, OK? Well, what about that then, Harry? Yep. Difficult to watch from a, an RGS perspective, but as an independent, that was something special. Yeah, you've got to give uh, credit where credit's due, really. Uh, you know, it's a great solo try. Um, I think having that having that uh, yellow card for RGS hasn't helped them at all. You know, it's creating gaps in the midfield. Um, but yeah, it's just, sometimes the ball just bounces like that and, uh, you know, better luck. It, it just happens. Well, when your uh, number six is on the sidelines and it just makes it so much easier for an eight, nine pick and go around the corner, doesn't it? 
yeah, definitely. You know, we're going to have to put a, you know, a back into the forwards. You know, it's fish out of water, really. So, yeah, we just got to adapt to that now. 17-7 on the scoreboard. Back was off green. And it's well collected. And here comes Dan Halcombe. Big carry and big charge from Godwin. Still going forward, still on his feet. Hollingworth doing really well to pick that off of his toes, but unfortunately, just a, a bit of a knock on. And he did well to get the pass away in the end, actually. Unfortunate again for RGS. There's still nothing in this game, is there really? It's only two tries to one, 17-7. So much time on the clock. Yeah, I mean, anything can happen, you know. 30, 36 more seconds until, you know, the yellow card's over. That'll make a big difference coming on just before the end of the half, you know, hopefully lift some spirits. And, uh, yeah, five minutes to go. Thank you. Take a mark for me. King's looking to ship it wide. and. Okay, Ooh. You were fine, okay. We're going to come back. On the 10. For oh, the fine. offside. Yeah. 10. Right, yellow car can come back on. Uh, you've still got about four minutes. Well, Joe Whitbread. 10. Offside. Guys, back for me. He's back on the field of play for the uh, final four minutes or so Ten. of this half. Offside. Thanks, James. George Tomlinson with a huge nudge there. Really makes a difference. Again, a lovely there. platform from the base of the scrum for King's School Worcester. About four. Guys, let's get there, come on. But these, uh, these wide, flat, firm pitches make all the difference for rowing rugby, don't they, Harry? Yeah, you know, normal English conditions, it's normally wet and windy, and uh, it, I think just playing in here, you know, pitch is always dry. Right. It's definitely, you know, hands game. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's just it's just something different that the boys aren't used to playing on really. Both both sets of teams really. Hold in front, 13. Drubber through from Tomlinson and collected by Wild, who's done really well to step inside and carve through the hole. In one arm, look to get the uh, offload away. It's gone backwards though, thankfully for RGS. In from the sides. Ben Amos just uh, yep, being you. cautioned and for coming in at the side and it's a great break from Granger Wait, both teams side. seeing some success down the short side today Williams this time he's a bit isolated but we're coming back for the original infringement at the breakdown What do you expect here? Kick for the corner? Uh, that's what I, yeah, I think so. Speak to the captain. Yeah, captain to me. Well, it was yeah, great initiative, really, and great eyes from uh, yeah. Tom Wilde. Sorry, he was under a lot of pressure, wasn't he, in the 22, and somehow managed to find yeah, his way whatever. through six or seven players in front of him. Yeah, he's, he's, he has done well, that, well there, to be fair. That's what it was. Let's keep your heads up. Well, who's that getting a bit of a stretch out? Well, guys, we've got two minutes left, so. Well, look at that. It was lovely. Caught Kings flat footed and caught them napping as well. There's a good Anything break here from uh, Granger as well. Yeah, two minutes. Well, only a couple of minutes until half time. Another very big right? thank you to our broadcast partners for this evening, Coach Logic, their intuitive video analysis that gives the whole team 
a voice. Collaborative right, coaching. So Check so them out brilliant. online. Coach Logic. <laughs> And our scoreboard partners for this evening. Uh, we've got two minutes William Wood watches so real British firefighting history like booting through every component. Don't forget to check them out. Off. Well, there'll be plenty of analysis going on from both sides of the stadium at half time. We are minutes away from that, but one last attempt for RGS to try and close the scoreboard. Yeah, There's sense. been nothing in this game. As though I think we're seeing is that Max Collins limping off. I think it's Paddy Emney link, uh, limping off there, Patrick Emney. Well, he's putting in a big shift in this first half. Ten. And Ten. Plenty of uh, replacements on the bench. Time back on. Granger with the nudge. And RGS will have the line out some uh, 15 guys, metres guys. from the King's oh. try line. Loic Kesey, the Maverick, the Worcester oh, no. Academy man, does well to get its mark. And here comes the break. Joe Whitbread almost slicing through. Let's use it. Here he goes again, Loic Kisi, all oh, the offload, okay. Okay. not quite going to hand, and here come Kings. Well collected by Ben Withnall. So close for Did RGS, shoulder, and shoulder. in the end, Thank extremely you. well read Fast by over. Kings. Backwards. Well, it's been tapped back from Ben Amos. Hey, hands off green. And Tomlinson has first. it. On the floor. Are you on the floor first? Good offload, and again, Kings using every yeah, second of this half. Tackle. Pillman trying to carve his way through. No, you're not on the ball, mate. Casey with the, uh, I'm not sure, judo throw to the ground. Yeah, funnily enough, he actually is a uh, judo, uh, judo Commonwealth champion. Well, there you go. There's the fact about him there. It was textbook. Terry with the nudge into touch. And that is half time here from six ways. The 14th Modus Cup. And it is King School Worcester leading 17 points to seven against RGS Worcester. If you're wondering what's going on, it's only just half time where well, we did start 15 minutes or so later than the scheduled yeah. seven o'clock kickoff. Well, it was a uh, first blood to Kings and we'll come through the highlights in just a few minutes time, but uh, a few tired bodies out there yeah, after the opening 35 minutes. We'll just be back in a down second down. with the highlights. Southern hemispheres. Oh, 
one, two, skip a few and with the wheels. Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth news on the global game. What a kick. We're ready to come, Mom, and how did that happen? All your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 15. Well, 17-7 at half time here from Six Ways. Kings School Worcester leading just marginally and they got first blood and uh, Harry Ramsey is uh, still with me in the commentary box here. And Harry, what did you make of this uh, first try of the game from your, uh, your mate James Granger? Um, it, it's just awareness at the end of the day, really reaction time from James to spot the ball on the floor. And uh, yeah, it's just it's a good charge down from Whitbread as well. He's done well there. Uh, he's, just awareness and the reaction time uh, involved in that. Just that these uh, in goal areas aren't very deep, are they? And a bit of pressure just yeah. closes the space and makes it almost impossible to get a kick away. Definitely, I think you've got fans behind you as well, you know, pressure of the kick is getting to you maybe. Um, and yeah, even something as simple as clearing the ball can, uh, can uh, be difficult in those, in those circumstances. Well, this was the uh, response a few minutes later from uh, King's second row, Will Chater. Just uh, powering his way through. He's a big man, isn't he, with long arms and just managed to reach over the line for that one. Yeah, again, it's just it's just awareness really from him to uh, take it over the line there. And he's a big lad, so he's going to take some stopping. Uh, you see two men couldn't bring him down. Just just says it all really. And this, uh, well, the pick of the game so far. Eight, nine combo, the show and go from Alex Terry. His chip didn't quite go where you'd expect. He hacked it on around the back of Tom Wilde and another grubber. It just sat up perfectly for him. Just at the right time as well, because RGS Worcester were down to 14 men at this point. Yeah, and uh, he, Alex Terry, he's done well there to take advantage of the fact, you know, there's space in the midfield. And then obviously, yeah, uh, Chip just bounces right for him. If you could see the uh, King's supporters on the uh, far stand as uh, he kicked it. The first one, they were up on the seat. The second one, they were back down. The third one, they were still sitting. And as he went over the line, they were jumping for joy. It was uh, great to see. Well, that's all the action from the first half. 17-7 uh, at half time. I mean, who has impressed you, Harry, from, from either side, really? And uh, who do you think has been the difference maker? Obviously, you know, Alex Terry from Kings with that big try. I think he's been, uh, his passing's been good. Um, and yeah, I'd say him from Kings and then RGS. Um, I'd say Dan Holkin, only 15, you know, he's carrying the ball strong. 15 years of age, some of these boys are 18, you know, he's doing, you, 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 he doesn't look out of place, I don't think. So I think, you know, especially a big occasion like this, 15 years of age, he, he's doing really well. Well, we uh, have certainly seen a uh, a few players suffering with a bit of cramp as well in that first half. Both teams have got loaded benches and uh, you sometimes get from uh, going playing on softer, muddier pitches to these hard 4G pitches, it just takes a little bit out of those cars, doesn't it? Yeah, obviously, it, it's, as I said before, it's different conditions to what the boys are used to playing on. Um, and yeah, that can take its toll on the night. Well, from uh, RGS then, who do you expect to see come on at the uh, start of this second half? And, who perhaps are the difference makers, that the finishers, if you like? Um, obviously, uh, Ollie Blunt's already come on for Paddy Emney, sadly going off with an injury. Um, but Max Passing Griffiths, uh, people start like Sam Hill, Josh Oldnell, uh, Ben Chamberlain, Corey McNally, Ben Allen, all the people on the list, really, just people to look out for. Uh, but yeah, it just depends who turns up on the night, really. Well, it's been a very intriguing first half 17-7 to Kings 
they won the last edition which was held in 2019 of course 2020 was uh, called off due to covid 19 but can perhaps rgs battle back and close the gap this the 14th annual modus cup and we'll be back with the second half in just a few moments time Well, here they come for the second half. It's a change of ends. And we'll keep an eye out for any substitutions. RGS did go down to 14 men in that first half. What can they do with a full 15 this time round? James Granger okay. that gets Alex. us back underway. Ready, Ben. Well, he sent it high and relatively short, but it's well collected by Ben Williams of King's School Worcester. On side, guys, thick step. Uh, hold, no, it's not terrible. Hang on. Come on, well, look, Kesey has done well to collect that. A bit of a show and go, and that looks a bit of a high shot from Will Chater. James, was that just um, shoulders and up, yeah? Is that shoulders and up? A show and go this time Nothing from area, Max yeah? Collins. Nothing more than the penalty, sorry. Cool, thank you. Can you take a mark for me? Thanks. Hollingworth with the up and under. Ooh. Well, it's knocked forward and... Robbie May, I don't think he meant to, but he certainly took the man out in the air. And Ollie. Well, I think we're probably going to come back for a yellow card on that high shot from uh, Will Chater on this near touchline. But we may have another one here. Well, what are they discussing? That was uh, a bit sloppy from Robbie May. Sure. 
on his legs. I mean, I think we're gonna have to go yellow. Yeah. Both teams, which over which overrides the high touch Both from over there. Teams so we go yellow coming card out. Here for him. Firing yeah. on all cylinders. Ben, 14. Sorry. Oh, whatever your name number is. Ben right. Galbert. As you've come in, you've taken all over the ball. You've gone into him, and he's landed on your on his up over here. Okay, it's a yellow card only. Okay, but it's a dangerous tackle in the air. Okay. Yeah, but you're, if you're going into contact, you're responsible. Okay. And Robbie May with the card, pretty clear from the referee. And I think what the referee actually said was the. Uh, take him out in the air. Taking him out in the air actually overrid the uh, potential yellow for Will Chater down on this near touch line. Yeah, you, uh, as uh, with the previous incident, you know, you've got to be careful. This could go terribly wrong. Uh, so, you know, it's got to be it's got to be refereed correctly, really. I mean, well, he's, how he's landed as well. I think uh, Robbie May was protesting that he was looking at the ball so, the whole so time, but he was uh, a bit sloppy. It was good to see Ben Amos 50, 50 seconds in. sitting back up. What a start to the half. Only 49 yeah, yeah. seconds well, played, hey? Chaotic. He's done well to get back to his feet. And uh, Ben Amos walking towards the King's Faithful. Being applauded as he heads his way right, to right, the right. touchline. Well, that is not what James, RGS what wanted at the start of this first half. Yeah, yeah, guys. Time off still. Time off. I haven't brought it back on yet. Is that from the high tackle? Is that, a, is that a... Okay. Cool. Well, you can't quite see it, but on this near touch line, Loic Kisi is still on the floor getting treatment from the high tackle. Let's try and get he to got. Make a decision, yeah? I think he's just having a bit of a, an assessment from the physios. One sec. Yeah, we had a look at it, we had a discussion about it. It wasn't as bad as that one. Yeah. yeah, but this overrides that because this is worth our play. Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. We're having a look. Yeah. Okay, all good. Well, Kesey back to his feet. Much of the applause of uh, the RGS yeah. faithful, okay. and that's not a, a not a player you want to see go off, is it? Really? No, definitely not. In front of me, please. Thank you. Out in the air. So is it going to be a case of just uh, trying to wind down the clock until Robbie May can come back on? I believe so, you know, just try to keep the ball. Um, Thank you. And yeah, just keep ball, really. Numbers, numbers. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Guys, line's in the middle, OK? Line out on the 10 metre line for Kings and well taken There's by George three. Boyle. There. Fine. Big Bosch from Lyman and really sat down Jack Kane there. Tomlinson with a long looping pass and here goes Rimmel. No, oh, hands away, Sorry, Seb great. Lucas rather. Ball's there. Yeah. Williams on the carry. Terry, the magic man in the first half. Out the back door from Lyman. Hi. Ollie, was that hi? Granger wrapping him up, but he's done so with a high shot, shot, and Terry yeah, takes the fine. quick tap. Kings no, no, with a barnstorming yeah, stampede here. Kesey trying to get in there and slow things down. Ollie, watch that side, yeah? That extra man just paying oh, dividends and here calls Chater. He scored from a similar position in this first half. Penalty for the offside. Terry tries to ship a wide one out into the hands of Ben Williams. Still going with Lyman. Inches away. Thank you, boys. Rocking Ollie, and rolling. Chater. 
It's short, boys. Release screen. It's short. Ollie, watch Can they reset? Ready, ready. Oh. This time, yes, it's a score for King's School Worcester. And it is Jack Lyman who put in so much of the good work to get to that position. And the light show once again here at six ways for Kings. It's so difficult to stop once they get moving. So much forward power. On the five, yeah. And it was Jack Lyman with another try this season. They were millimetres away, weren't they? It was you, you'd be doing something probably highly illegal or crazy to be able to stop it from there. Kings leading 22-7 with the conversion to come from George Tomlinson. Well, he's got a big boot. Thanks, and he has leathered that one. That was a close one, that one. What was that? A bit of a, are you not entertained to the uh, travelling fans? I say travelling fans, it's not very far, is it? George Tomlinson with some more points Three on minutes. the scoreboard for him. Oh, I got off my ARs. They're underneath it. Well, only uh, three minutes left no, the on the sim bin for Robbie May. It Ranger over, didn't it? sends it long. Well, I think uh, Ben Galbert was contesting whether the conversion actually went over. But I don't think Kings are too bothered about that. They're intent on playing. and It's back with RGS. No, don't lift it. Tackle! Bit of a funny old lift there. It was yeah, getting good. stuck in the mud a bit. She's it. Careful there, three, yeah, careful. Tom Well getting amongst it. Out the back door and Granted, here comes tackle. Gobert. They have the me. advantage from the late tackle. Cutting back inside, it's Rimmel. who makes 10 metres this time. Thought he might just have a go on the outside, but cut back in for the support. Nine, he's got penalty advantage. Touch! Well... Granger just kicking that away as they had the penalty advantage. Yep. They're coming back for it. Okay. I don't think he perhaps realised that the 12. penalty advantage was 15 metres further back. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see it. Well, a chance no, then for tackle. RGS to clear their lines. And difficult at the moment for RGS with yeah. that uh, one man down. Yeah, let's not ask for time. What do you think uh, Rob Lewis will be saying on the touchline at the moment, Harry? Was he in play? Um, Was he probably in just chatting to Robbie May on the sideline. Okay. Um, you know, so going up to go back on. And uh, hopefully, you know, that mistake won't happen again. Well, some uh, lovely aerial okay. acrobatics okay, from yeah. Joe Richardson. Josh Richardson, rather. And Was he in the unfortunately, field of play the ball yes. went forward. Yeah. We'll have a little look at this again. That so went forward when he threw it back in. Boom. Okay, stable. Okay, crouch. Binds. It's worked out well for RGS as they've got a scrum. Guys, we've been good all game. Let's keep this gap between the shoulders here. Keep the gap, okay? Take a little step back. And they've got a full set of eight this time. Okay. Crouch. Binds. Set. Oh, I think if you can hear a beeping, that is the uh, sin bin for Robbie May. Unfortunately, RGS just being bundled into touch there and 
Robbie May is now making his way back onto the field. It will certainly mean a bit of a deep sigh of relief that they've only conceded one try, do you think, Harry? Yeah, our Jesse just got to switch on here now and, uh, you know, really show what we're about. Yeah, more! It's difficult, isn't it, when you get two sim bins and the penalties don't seem to be going your way either. Yeah, obviously, you know, Kings have, Kings have done well to capitalise on that, you know, uh, exploiting the space and, um, you know, obviously scoring two tries off the back of it. Boyle trying to chuck it up. Wow. Number two, straight off his feet. Lyman coming in off his feet and... Uh, Let the ball go. It's a penalty ball to RGS and... Granger with a lovely little nudge into touch. And RGS yeah. in the so green, we will have a line out from uh, 15 okay. metres out. Alex, let go, let's all let go of the ball. As soon Bit as I scrappy penalty, at that breakdown, wasn't it? Away, okay? Yeah. Guys, I'm here, I'm talking, OK? In a minute, yeah? It's a ball! All right, let's go! Oh, great okay. setup for the driving ball. How about that from RGS? Oh, sir. Granger struggling to peel that out. He looks to go down the blind side and there wasn't really any space, but Rimmel doing very well to nip his way forward. Kesey trying to go down the blind side. He's made of stern stuff and he's still going a bit of spillage. Well, it was a great pickup from the loose ball. It was about three inches short and this time though, RGS go over and of course it's Loic Kisi he thought he might be over the first time but a second crack of the whip yeah, from the powerful hooker sees a second try of the game for RGS well it was risque yeah. stuff really to go that close to the blind side he yeah. managed to tap it backwards and look at him here in the red scrum hat straight back to his feet pushing people out of the way to get that ball yeah. And you do not stop him from that far out. Well, when you're as good as he yeah. is and, you know, you've got confidence, you can, yeah, you can, you know, obviously he saw the space on the blind side and he's gained us some metres there, and, uh, which in the end led to the try. If they haven't, uh, you know, three, let their heads side. drop. Yeah, uh, if they come back from the second half, I think they'll look strong. And, uh, yeah, and just, let's just see what, uh, what pans out in the rest of the game. Well, it's amazing, isn't it? They went back up to uh, a full 15 got a couple of penalties and it made all the difference Granger with the conversion attempt to close the gap well not to be this time 24-12 on the scoreboard then around 25 minutes left to play both sides just need to hold their nerve but it's looking more positive now for your boys, Harry. Yeah, definitely. Uh, after that yellow card, they haven't let the reds drop. And, um, and yeah, it just shows that we, these boys uh, have, have come to play tonight. Oh, a bit of a spill ball falling right yeah, into the palms of Seb Lucas. <laughs> Penalty Kings. Terry taking it quickly and... Ben Williams with another Bell carry. Away. Ground first. Loves to get his hands on the ball. This time it's George Boyle, though. Yeah. And they look so strong when they're in possession. And here goes Tomlinson trundling forward. Three. He had a couple of men to his right, but didn't think he'd need them. Hey. Hands off! No, oh, he's in the way. Pick and go once again, it's short for Kings. Hands off, Green! On the line, on the line! Advantage. Again, that looks over. No, that's held up, we'll come back for the penalty. But it is held up. 
and the referee has come back for the penalty offside. Again, another bit of cramp as well. Just, sh just shows really how different the conditions are. You know, the either yeah. team's not used to playing on this. this. Um, okay. Yeah, you just got to adapt to it. It's a fast pitch, isn't it? A lot of running, and you can just see from one end to the other how quickly the players moved in this game. And I think, yeah, it was just held up a couple of arms underneath it. RGS doing so well to stop that on the line. Do you get a sense that uh, RGS have just got a bit more yeah. confidence again? Yeah, well, that trial really boosts spirits, you know. Some of these boys, this is, a, this is the biggest game of their lives here. And, uh, yeah, they'll be, uh, they know that as well. So that's why, uh, you know, that's why we've got okay. a great turnout from both teams here so far in this game. Wait. No, sure, no. Another no, big no, carry, no, no, but no, it's no. short no, no, once no. again. Oh, and they're calling a double movement, so penalty He's gone down. to RGS. He's gone again, okay? yeah, yeah, no, Smiles for the boys in green. And Granger's going to have to really give this some welly to clear their lines. No, 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 no. Remember, yeah. Remember, they've got to be in, in field first. Well, they did get it over, but they did so illegally. Bit of a double movement right, let's go, guys. Come on. from Kings. Not allowed. Advantage, knock on. A knock on from RGS. Not what they needed. Another bit of cramp. It was Kesey with that. Guys, we can't be stuck. The line out ball, unfortunately, yeah, just go. couldn't quite get the palms to it. I can't be stopping every two minutes, though, guys. Another thank right. you to uh, our broadcast partners this evening, Coach Log Logic, <laughs> rather, in uh, intuitive video analysis. A collaborative way to improve your performance. Check them out, as well as uh, our scoreboard partners for this evening. William Wood watches real British firefighting history beating through every component. Yeah. Okay, boys. Thanks, Ollie. Be strict, yeah. Well, finally, after another bit of cramp, we are. Back to the scrum. Okay, crouch. Bind. Set. Looking to go out wide into the hands of Lucas. He needs a bit of support, and Robbie May is getting in there to mess things up. It's advantage, though, to Kings. Penalty advantage. In at the side. Go, back. If you're tackling him into me, you're clearly late, OK? Yeah, I've got it. Well, these uh, penalties and uh, infringements just... James, can you hear me? causing a lot of uh, problems at the moment for RGS. It's difficult when they're under the cosh because defensively, Kings are so strong, aren't they? They're just everything, they're firing after it. Uh, there we go, I've got you now. Yeah, I've got you now. Green, OK. Well, there's a bit of a, a late hit yeah, from yeah. Joe Whitbread on Alex Terry there. The referee did have a word with him. Just a bit of a late hit. I think what he actually said was, oh, if you're uh, tackling him into me, you're definitely late. So there we are. And perhaps, do you think Harry uh, King's doing the sensible thing here just to keep the scoreboard ticking over? 
yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. I think if we were in the same situation as them, you know, we'd be doing this as well. Because um, at the moment they've got everything to lose. You know, they're uh, head by uh, 12 points here, so they've got to be going for points just to extend that lead a bit more. Easy work from George Tomlinson, straight through the middle. Well, we're very grateful to have a bit of a light show here this evening as well, aren't we? Certainly adds to the occasion with the uh, 4,000 or so Ages. fans here this Ages. evening. Possibly the biggest spectator schoolboy rugby event we have ever seen in this country, which is certainly saying something. In that. OK, James. Ben Off Williams feet. with the carry. It's a penalty to Kings and RGF being marched back. Guys, Mark here. Ben. Well, the RGS Worcester captain, Ben Galbert, being called over. OK, guys. There's too many penalties now. OK. Clearly off feet here. OK, going for the ball. OK, then he's talked back. Do you know which one? Uh, yep. The one who was just talking to one of the red scrum at. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Then you talk back, you just get moved back again, OK? Have a chat, next one might go. Yep. Well, he's saying too much talk back at the moment from RGS. You can tell they're getting a bit frustrated, can't you, Harry? Yeah, um, and he's just said to them now, uh, you know, one more, one more offence, one more penalty, and, you know, uh, there'll be a yellow, yellow card for the team. So they've just got to watch out there and, uh, you know, not let this slip now. Good. Ages, as I told them. Good nudge from Tomlinson. Thanks, James. One, one. Well, 27 12 with Not around sorry, about okay. 15 minutes yeah. left to play here from six ways in the Modus Cup. And at this stage, it looks as if the trophy is heading back to King's School, Worcester. Guys, let's go. Yeah, more. What a great play no, for the forwards off, off the line out and Terry looking to release his backs no, quickly. Out wide and into the hands of Pillman and Pillman carves back inside. Can he get over? Tackle, release green. Okay, well on? held up by Dan Halkin, the 15-year-old, with a great ben. cover. Ben. OK, 15, not releasing. OK, any more, they're gone. Okay. Well, Dan Handley there yeah, just being the warned for and go back on it, yeah? Yeah. holding on and not releasing in the tackle. One more and somebody has gone. That is the warning to RGS. Guys, what's your decision? Alex. Well, I think a bit of uh, confusion here, but Ben Williams making yeah. the front row decision to tap and go. He loves to carry and he's still going. Great last ditch tackling from RGS. But it is Kings that go over once again. Another score. And the scoreboard keeps ticking over for the Kings score Worcester. It was brash and bold to take the quick tap Ben Williams who was uh, probably carried nearly 20 or so times Excellent. in this game 15 yeah. Well, another conversion attempt for Tomlinson. Oh, 
Well, he gave the uprights a real rattle there, didn't he? Missed that one. Four tries to two. Kings, 32. RGS, 12. And they're really beginning to show their quality, aren't they, Harry, in this game? Yeah, again, with one of those tries, you know, uh, over in that uh, right-hand corner, uh, just using their forwards, forwards ball um, to be in physical, really. And we've got to match that now. Uh, you know, it's not over till it's over. So, you know, but we can't let our edge drop here now. With, uh, 10 minutes left, anything can happen. And clear your side now. Well, collected. The back by RGS. It's a lovely placed up and under from Granger. He somehow managed to catch it on the bounce, but he is bundled into touch. Getting a bit of a, a ribbing from the Kings boys, but uh, it was an excellent bit of play from Granger. Not another, is that Tomlinson trying to stretch out a bit of cramp? They'll be calling the game at 60 minutes at this rate. No players left. You, you it, mate. Cramp pandemic I'll here at six so. ways this evening. Yeah. That's a ball! Lyman with that, the line out ball. Just keep an eye on that side, James. And this is trundling nicely. There's out. Hold in front, stop. George Hera now on the field at scrum half for Kings. There's that. Uh, Hadley looks to run this one back. Can't quite see any space in his tackle release. No, head into a King's shirt. Penalty taken quickly. Lovely show and go from Godwin. Chater trying to hold him up. Okay, James. TC around the fringes. RGS yeah, okay, still going. Tackle release! Coming back for that original advantage. Not 10. Huh? What? Okay. Not 10. Just waiting for a couple of substitutions for uh, 11. Kings. Bringing on fresh blood. Not 10. Granger with a lovely long kick, but it doesn't quite bounce into touch and Seb Lucas on the charge here. Ice skating his way down no, six Andrew's ways. Balls out, balls out. Clive checking it up this time. No, you're off your feet now, Green. Hands away. Balls there. Right, leave it now, boys. Leave it. Stop. It's your own player's leg. Again with that cramp. Yep. Uh, you can see, yeah, you can see it happening all over the pitch, really. Uh, yeah. yeah. Big tackle no, coming in. Away, White. Come out. You can't play the nine, okay? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Granger and Tomlinson getting a bit confrontational now. All a bit handbags at Dawn, really, yeah. isn't it? He's going to bin. Well, Granger was just trying to get the ball back, wasn't he, to get on with the penalty, and I think it was uh, George Tomlinson, Alex. the uh, Kings number Alex. 12, who started 12. the confrontation, and he might be in a bit of trouble here. 
Uh, yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised, you know. Uh, towards the end and of the game, arousal levels are getting, um, you know, higher. You know, emotions are getting to them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's no need for that, He's made really. no attempt Absolutely to get back no need for that. straight away. We're close enough, it's a yellow card. OK, off you go. He knows right. that that's the right thing to do. You know, he knows he's offside. He's, of that, you know, people will go. Okay, he's had a really good game up till now. We've got nine minutes left. Control your teams. Unfortunately, Have a word both just them. Uh, slow it down. spoiling it. The referee, ahead. I think, has yep. managed this game really, really well. Yeah, it's your penalty, okay? He's played the penalty advantage for a long time to try and give both teams well, the best well, opportunity well, to play with it. And uh, yeah. unfortunately, George uh, Tomlinson there just uh, getting caught up in something he probably should have kept his nose out of. Yeah, definitely. I'll say the referees, you know, been been very fair today really the assistant referees as well having the earpiece in makes such a difference okay. just the clarity and yeah, the uh, eyes on everything really okay. nine minutes nine nine okay well nine minutes left to play penalty to rgs and uh, harry hollingworth Stepping up yeah, take to send that into touch, side, and yeah. uh, RGS will have the line out ball Guys. on the 22. Right, there's your mark. Green, green, take the line, Blowing. Well, we know their line out is very clean cut with Loic Kesey. Straight to Halcom. He's fine, he's through the middle. And just look at Will Chater there. Doing a bit of a he's Mario right, Toje and trying to get amongst it, and he's done very well to break through. Kesey, though, just won't stop. Look at him go. Loic Kesey charging forward. Tackle now, release. Straight through the middle, the captain, Ben Galbert. Oh. Change of direction. Kesey still going. Tries to get the offload away. Oh, and. Uh, Luckily for him, it went backwards. He's electric, isn't he, Loic Kesey? How can setting up a rock? Galbert with the Bosch, the handoff. The captain trying to finish strongly here at six ways. No, yeah, but he's on the wrong side. Shush. Carry this time from. Jack Kane ben, and. You can have one here, or you can have one over there. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're coming back for the penalty advantage. Well, he had the option. Did he want the penalty in front of the sticks or over by the corner? And you think here, Harry, they will go for the driving more? Yeah, I, I guess so. You know, I'll just show in here, you know, it's not over till it's over, and uh, they're still, still heads are in the game, really, and uh, they're not giving up. Well, you're uh, Guys, five to the middle, take fly step. half, Hollingworth, really starting to come into the game at this late stage, pulling the strings. Yeah, the Bucks are, you know, Sorry? really switched on it, to be fair. Look and uh, Bosch. Yeah. Big handoff from Ben. And, uh, yeah. He almost carried that number seven down the field with him, didn't he then? Clean from the line out. It's got to be careful for, you know, the locks coming in. And uh, grabbing that as, he, as he's doing here. I think potentially that is uh, in a right hand. That is held up. And I'm not sure who it is with the uh, pink scrum hat for Kings, but they managed to just get their arm in there. And Goal line drop out. Kesey couldn't get away and over the line with the ball. Make sure you're behind the kicker. James, keep an eye on you. So unfortunate for RGS. They do have another chance to counter this one. Skipping, and here they go. Hadley with the feet. Spills it in contact. Great support, though, from Tom Wilde just to uh, snaffle up Charles Pillman. Hold. Well, what an end to this game. Well, it was almost an excellent diving catch from Hadley. I thought he was in there with that break on the outside. On the five. This was the uh, held up driving, driving oh, guys, more. Have been good. Let's keep it up, please. 
Yeah, as I was saying, you know, the uh, big lops getting in there and getting their hands on the ball. And this is the uh, break from Hadley. Look at that shuffle step. Okay, crouch. Bind. Just spills in the tackle there, I think. Set. Very unlucky. Hold. Kings with the scrum then. Look to potentially uh, run it from deep. They don't. They kick forward and it might just fall here. Tackle, okay. Yeah, he was fine. Carry from the forwards. RGS looking to move this one wide. Oh, the pass. It's intercepted. Here they go. And I think that's George Hira. Well, unfortunate for RGS. But everything falling King's School Worcester's way this evening. From one end to the other, the bounce of the ball. Three. Well, it was good intent from Joe Clive, I think, and his pass just He's got being read by George Hira. Uh, what an occasion for him. He seemed to love that straight off three. the bench and on the score sheet. Well, there is uh, no George Tomlinson to take the conversion this time. Josh Richardson doing the business. Well, tough for RGS, Harry. Let's go. But uh, a positive end to the game from both sides all round. Yeah, in this last 10 minutes, especially, I think we've seen, you know, well, both teams going at it. Just, you know, last few minutes of a game, you, you tend to drop off a bit, but both these teams still fighting. Okay. Alex, Simbin can come back on. On the centre spot. Uh, we've got well, that is uh, it's in been over for George Tomlinson. Thanks, Lee. Okay, crouch. Bind. Okay, no, just fell forward. Gap was too big. My fault. My fault. Okay, bring it a bit closer. Yeah? Well, scrum on okay, halfway. Bind. Set. Alex Terry, the captain. Hold. Strong scrum, and here they go. Oh, Richardson with the chip forward. It's uh, been knocked on. Knock on, yeah. By RGS, and going to be another chance, perhaps, for. Uh, Kings to have one last shot on the RGS line. Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Ten, ten Let's go. One more, one more. One more. By Crouch. Bind. Set. Hold. Here are the try scorer. Gets it away to Richardson and long looping pass into the hands of Terry. Terry trying to have a go on his own. He's bundled into touch and the ball has been collected by Hadley and maybe a long range effort to end the game for RGS. Both teams just throwing the ball about willingly, trying to stretch the defence so late in the game. Ben Amos, I think. He's on his way down. With just a bit of a bosh. No, 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 no. That's time. He's on his way down. It was accidental. Yeah. 
Well, that is full time. Alex Terry into touch. And the King's School Worcester have taken the Modus Cup for 2021. Well, what a game of rugby. 4,000 fans here at Six Way Stadium in Worcester this evening. Two teams going at it for the whole 70 minutes. And Harry, well, commiserations to your boys, but it was a cracking game all the way through. Yeah, to summarise the game, really, I think, you know, each both teams had like flash of brilliance, you know, a bit of luck involved for both, uh, both teams. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, thanks to everyone for, you know, putting on this massive event. You know, we've just seen Ted Hill, the Worcester Warriors and England player walking past. It just really shows, you know, how big this event is for everyone really in Worcester. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just good that, you know, these two teams can come on and put a show for all these people tonight. And what do you think from an RGS perspective, Rob Lewis will say to the boys in the changing rooms after this game? Because even in the last 10 or 15 minutes, they were so strong, they were so spirited, and they could have almost got another try five minutes from time yeah although the scoreline you know doesn't reflect it i think you know at, at times in the game the game was pretty even so i, I think there's going to be some bits he's happy with and some bits he's disappointed with obviously because uh, we haven't got the win in the end but you know uh, individual performances they you know people have been brilliant we've really come together as a team i think in the last 10 minutes there you know we're down by quite a few points in uh, but you know we're not stopping um you know motivation to just keep going even when you're down you know, that's just that's just what we're about really i think well what a game, 39-12, the final score. Let's take a look at some of the highlights once again. This is the uh, opening try when uh, RGS were 3-0 down on the scoreboard. It was uh, James Granger, your scrum half, who got the ball over the line after his charge down. And he had a great game, didn't he? One of the leading lights in your side, really leads by example. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I think he was great today, you know, kick in. Uh, and everything really. Well, a bit of sweet Caroline. This isn't British sport if it's not sweet Caroline, is it? No, definitely not. Well, moments are made for this, aren't they? Win or lose, this is the sort of night you'll remember for the rest of your life. And I just caught a, a glimpse of the trophy, the Modus Cup. Uh, and it is an absolute whopper. I think it's bigger than the Premiership Rugby Cup. Yeah, I mean, yeah, put on by this uh, Mr. Modus uh, for the last 14 years. Um, yeah. Well, plenty of time for uh, celebration and photos. And I'm sure the... Uh, well, you can't quite see it, but that trophy is almost as big as that small boy in the red jumper. Yeah. Look at it. Huge. I think uh, Alex Terry could have a bath in that. Well, that is the Modus Cup for 2021. And it does go to the King's School Worcester for a tenth time we definitely hope to be back with you next year and uh, Harry we hope to see you on the pitch this time next year most definitely yeah hopefully uh, bringing the trophy back to uh, the Royal Grammar School well I think we'll stay with these pictures just for just a, a few minutes 4,000 fans and supporters here in the stadium from both schools it's a real occasion perhaps and we'll probably stamp this claim to it no matter what but the biggest and most populated school rugby game in England ever and uh, well a great effort from all those involved thank you to our broadcast partners this evening as you can see coach logic connecting the game they're changing the way teams approach analysis with their intuitive video analysis. It is the collaborative way to improve performance. So check them out. And thank you to our scoreboard partners as well. William Woodwatch's 
real British firefighting history beating through every component. Check them out as well if you need a, a very fancy new timepiece with a British heritage stamp to it. Well, we'll let's just uh, pick up the rest of the highlights from this game. This the score, Harry, from uh, Will Chater, and he was a, a bit of a dominator throughout the game, wasn't he? Even at the end, on their own try line, getting amongst it to stop the try. Yeah, I'd say, you know, he's been one of the people dominant for Kings today. I'd say he had a great game. Um, he was dominant everywhere, in the line outs especially, and uh, in, uh, in those little carries that you've seen there. And, uh, yeah, he's shown it there, really. He's had a great performance tonight. This, the pick of the bunch, though, isn't it? Alex Terry, the captain. Captain... Fantastic. He'll uh, be stitching this one up, putting it on his YouTube channel or Instagram or whatever he does these days. But fantastic score, really brilliant solo stuff. Well, a bit of uh, strength in the second half. Once again, they were held up millimetres short. But it was Jack Lyman who has uh, scored a number of tries this season. He really has the King's School hooker. This the response from uh, RGS, and, well, it was a bit of a battle of the hookers at one stage. Loic Kesey doing the business, and you don't stop him from that far out, do you? Great body position no. to dive over. Some more photo opportunities. Yeah. A photographer in the hive is just uh, getting them all into position. It's great to see, isn't it? And these opportunities you'll remember for the rest of your life when you, whether winning or losing. Yeah, as I said earlier, you know, some of, for some of these boys, it's uh, the biggest game of their lives, really. Um, just to come out in front of these fans, you know, put on a show. Because that's what it is at the end of the day, it's a show, it's for charity. Um, and yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a great event. Penultimate try of the game then. The uh, tap and go from Ben Williams. And diving over the line. Once more, the Kings forwards. Well, this the uh, final try of the game. George Hera with the intercept and dash for the line. Simple score, but rounded off the game nicely for the Kings School Worcester for their 10th win in the Modus Cup. Well, what an evening here at Six Ways. The 2021 Modus Cup goes to the King's School Worcester. Harry Ramsey from uh, RGS, thanks very much for joining us. You've been a, what a debut on commentary. I know you've got your knee in a brace, but a fantastic performance. Thanks for joining us. If you can't play next year, you're definitely welcome back up here. Well, final scores then from Six Ways. King's School Worcester, 39. RGS Worcester 21 from all of us here on Next Gen 15. For now, good night. Hemispheres. Oh, it's a great tackle. It's not good enough. One, two, skip it.
Ewan with the wheels. Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What's a kick? All your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 15.